Hi guys, welcome back to Money and She and congratulations to us! Yay! We have 5,000 subscribers! <laughs> I cannot imagine. Just six months ago, 100 lang yung subscribers natin. Now we have 5,000 more. And thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for trusting and believing in me. As in, sobrang thankful ako doon. And also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who um, signed up for my Patreon account. And who are now patrons. So I would just like to shout out um, them. <laughs> so thank you to Jerome. Martin, Siegfried, Charlene, Pablo, Juanito, and Roy. So anyway, so again, I look back in what I did last six months when I officially launched Money and She. And I told her that, you know, I'm going to show my portfolio. And I think I haven't shown it in a while because wala naman masyadong movement kasi nga medyo position trader naman ako and I'm just waiting. So, this is the right time for me to actually show you my portfolio again kasi um, it's been 6 months and right now, nagkakaroon na siya ng movement. Kasi for me, I just wait until there's a movement and then that's when we we actually decide. So, I'm gonna show you my portfolio now and of course, um, I will also show you some of the process I do. Sorry, whether or not I will sell it, I will add more shares or I will cut loss, okay? So, this is gonna be that time. And also guys, if you really want to support me, I am asking you to download my mobile application. It's Clean Earth and it's available in iOS and Android. Okay, so it's free. It's free and it will help you save the planet. So save your money, invest, and save the planet too. And of course, if you're ready, let's start. So yeah, guys, um, again, Itong past months, wala masyadong movement yung portfolio ko. That's why I'm not showing it. Lagi lang siya nasa negative 1, negative 2, or plus positive 1, positive 2. And now, nagkaroon na siya ng movement. So, nag-increase na siya. And it's, it's quite a fast move. It's not something that I expected na biglang, alam nyo yun, um, mag-shoot up siya ng ganun. And I guess there's more... It's because a lot of news are coming out like um, nagiging okay na, nag open na yung market and because of that, nagiging good na ulit yung mga businesses. So there's a ve very good outlook by, you know, the last quarter of this year na mostly baka makarecover yung businesses this, past, uh, this last quarter. And because of that, the market is moving fast. Kasi di ba nga, we always say na the stock market is ahead of the economy. So, alam niyo yun, kapag ka, um, investors are thinking na magkakaroon na ng recovery, then they are investing again back to the stock market. And that shows some progress. And it shows as well in my stocks, di ba? Kasi I, I guess like few weeks ago, nag-start na mag-increase yung iba, like Jollibee and all. And then, my stocks are still lagging. Alam niyo, matagal talaga. Kasi I invested heavily in the banking sector. Kasi usually, the fourth quarter, um, banking sectors usually are better kasi nga nag -e end na so you use credit card more for gifts and everything and mas maraming nangungutang kasi they, they spend on a lot of investments or a lot of things like weddings and house and everything. So, yun yung mga times na medyo mas maganda yung earnings ng banks and lumalabas na yung earnings reports nila na positive or better. Yun. So, that's why um, right now, that's what we can see. Okay, so as you can see, this is how PSE performed. Let's go to the chart a little bit so that we can see what's happening to PSEI before we look at my portfolio. And guys, this is just showing you na kahit na may work kayo, kahit na marami kayong ginagawa, still you can manage your stock portfolio and you don't really have to do a lot. So as you can see, this is the from June to October right now. This is how the PSE I moved. And so far it's it's at six thousand two hundred. So mabilis lang siya no so from sixteen below six thousand siya tapas big la siyang nag cross and to na siyang umakyat. And 
end. This has been the the range before the COVID hit. So it's around seven thousand four hundred, and right now it's trading at um, not really. If you're, you if you have ETF or yeah, if you're looking at PSEI, of course, if if PSEI is increasing, definitely the stocks under that is also increasing. So as you can see. It's at this point now. So whether it will bounce back at this level or it will continue to increase now and this will become the new support level. Okay, so now we move on to the portfolio. So we, we saw naman in the PSE na medyo good talaga yung, yung impact yung as in the whole market as of the moment. And we're hoping na magko-continue yan as long as alam niyo yun, hindi na magkaroon ng mga bagong lockdowns and all that. So, it will just be better. Of course, there will be some pullbacks, but not much. So, yeah, and diretso na tayo sa stock portfolio. For, for this one, I have AGI. And as you can see, it gained already 29.5%. And if you've been watching my videos, I always say na, ang target gain ko per stock is 20%. But at this point, um, I think umabot na ko na 29%. And for this level, like at AGI, first thing I need to do, since nalagpasan na niya yung uh, 20% na target ko, is do I hold? Do I sell this at this price na? Or mag a ako? Diba? Kasi kung good talaga siya, then that's nice. So, I also have BDO. And BDO, I bought it at... My average cost is 93. So, from 98, nag-average down na. Tapos nag-80 something siya. I even bought at lower, like 85. And so, kaya medyo malaki rin yung um, position ko kay BDO. And also, GTCAP, of course. Yung pinakamalaki kong position. Is with GT Cap and the next with BDO. So si GT Cap at least na kabango na siya at 7.92. Pero matagal din tong nakalugmok, <laughs> as in naka negative to for a long time or just basically na dun lang hindi siya gumagalaw. And yun. So dahil to maasya, to maasya siya. So at this point, um, the question is, antay ko ba mag 20%? Kasi last time, antay ko siya mag 20%. So 15%, hanggang 15% lang yung inakyat niya, tas bumaba siya ulit. So for me, that's a uh, no sell that time. Pero partially I sold dun sa kabila kong ano, sa call ko. Pero for for first metrosec, I just hold it at this price. Kasi ang, ang saya ko eh. 90, ano, 406 na yung pagkakabili ko. And ayoko siya ibenta. So, um, if I sold it at 15%, din gain ko na tapos I could have bought at a lower price. Pero that's the risk I took kasi. Kasi I'm thinking na, alam niyo yun, baka magtuloy-tuloy na yung pag-open. Kasi that time, nag-open yung, yung borders, diba? Ay, nag-open yung market in a bit. Tapos, dinara ulit nila. So, nung, kung nagtuloy-tuloy yun, hindi sana ako nag-antay ng 6 months. But then again, ayan, nasa 7.92 na siya. And hopefully, hopefully, ma-reach ko yung 20% target. And I have to reevaluate that now kasi kung ibebenta ko na ba or hindi. Ganyan. So, the next one is Metro Bank. So, I earned 12.54% per, <laughs> 54% din sa kanya. So, um, which is good. So, again, nantay ko yung 20%. So, inaantay ko pa. Kaya pa tong iangat feeling ko. And then, PNB, 32% na siya na. 32.21. And napakababa lang. Actually, bumili pa ako nito dun sa kabila kong broker. Kasi nga, um, dito wala na akong fund that time eh. Tapos nag-add lang ako ulit ng 50 right now. Pero, um, just so you know guys, I bought these stocks just to show, yun nga, the portfolio to you guys. And that you can invest in good stocks na good fundamentals. And you can wait like 6 months and then gain from the returns of it. Diba? So, PNB 32.21. The reason for me buying this PNB is because, sabi ko, ano, kita sila dun sa IPO ng Mary Mart. And then BDO, I am hoping na kumita rin sila dun sa Converge na IPO. So, inaantay ko lang yan. At tapos si SECB, may lumabas na news din siya na, ano, ba na maganda right now. Kaya nag-shoot up din siya ng 8.33%. 
Actually, to mas na to nung ano ko eh, target ko. And nag-antay ulit ako. So, yun yung risks that you have to remember if you're doing stock trading, di ba? You basically take actions on your decisions. You analyze. So, in my analysis that time, feeling ko, malakas yung feeling ko. Feeling era ko eh. <laughs> feeling ko, tuloy-tuloy na yung recovery. Mali naman pala ako. So, pero at the end of the day, because these are good companies and then, Nakapasok naman ako at that very low pl- price. So, nagantay na lang ako, diba? And now, I'm gaining from it. So, if you guys are working and you you think na hindi nyo kaya mag-invest sa stocks, well, you're wrong. Kasi, I've been doing this for a long time and marami rin akong ginagawa this past few days, few months, even though, <laughs> even though may COVID, marami rin akong ginagawa. And I don't have full time to actually assess. And now, Yan nga, we gained 8%, which is still better than putting your money just in the bank, diba? Just make sure that your analysis is good. So, um, that's just how it is. So, for now, I'll just show you one stock and how I evaluate it. And then, I'll tell you what to do. So, let's start with AGI. If you want to see the others, like for BDO, GTCAP, MBT, PNB, and SECB on what I will do with this, you can join my Patreon account. Link is here and it's also going to be in my description box. But I'm going to show you how to do it. So, kung merong composition for that, di kaya mo nang gawin yun, di ba? So, <laughs> ayan guys. So, as you can see, this is my analysis with um, AGI. And thanks to JTrades for teaching me ATR. <laughs> So guys, if if you want to learn a lot about technical analysis, go to JTrades. Napakagaling yan na technical analyst. So for this one, so 0.17 new movement niya. And as you can see, um, it was actually going up, no? So medyo na, na-reach niya na yung 200, e, 200-day EMA niya. And nag nag cross din yung sa MACD niya. Plus, there's some kind of momentum. So, tumat, meron siyang momentum at this point. So, parang ngayon ko pa siya ibenta. Ang target selling price ko talaga kay AGI is sell at 9. So, for me, I'll sell at 9. <laughs> I'll stick to my, my plan. Pero, just so you know, bak- dahil tumaas siya, either magbumove siya up or it can actually go down and touch this, ano, a 50-day EMA, which is probably gonna be at this level by that time, nasa 7.19 to 24, ganyan. So, watch out for that, ano, level, 7.35. If you want to enter, take a look at this, ano, trend line. So, kapag ka nag 7.35 siya, wait nyo na mag-bounce before you enter. Or if mag-cross siya, wag mo na kayong bumili. But, at this point for me, Okay pa ako. Kasi hello, 30% na yung gain ko, ba? So, I'm just waiting for it to reach 9. Tapos nagbabenta na ako. Taas nung expectation ko, ba? So, for me kasi, mukhang ano na siya eh. Mag-cross na siya. Oh. Malapit na yung... Mag- malapit na siya maging bullish. And I'm still at the good position to stay in my position. Kasi wala naman ako masyadong ginagawa. <laughs> I mean, okay na sa akin mag-wait at this point. Kung totally good recovery na siya and medyo matagal na rin yung pagiging bearish na. So, I think, ayun know close na sila, close na sila. Ayun lang. So, if you want to see the others, kasi I'll post it in my Patreon account. So, you can join my Patreon account. So, ayan guys, this is my Patreon account. If you want to join, it's Money and Chi. And I'll post that here, Okay. So, ayan, may P gold play tayo. And we have the dividend, drunking in PSE. And then I upload as well here advanced videos. So, you can watch my videos without ads. That's all. <laughs> thank you. I thank you. So, before anything else, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification button for my video. Para lagi kang updated, okay? And of course, if you want to learn how to trade stocks and you're a beginner, you're not ready yet or you're scared, then you can join my beginner's class and the registration link is below. You can join it. It will be very easy for you because it's more of practice and simulation. So you're definitely going to be prepared 
to trade in the market after the classes okay okay guys so that's that's our game plan for today i hope i help you on how i plan my next trades and my stocks if you have questions put it in the comment box and i'll be happy to answer some if i have time but thank you thank you so much guys thank you so much for for supporting my channel and for sharing my videos for liking it for um everything sobrang thankful ako sa inyong lahat and so guys don't forget to download my mobile application it's clean earth app it's clean earth it's available in ios and, and android and let's invest and save the planet okay so that's it thank you and have a great day bye